Hey guys, RC here. This is going to be episode 51 and our season finale. I'm working up through the last games to get there, but you know, wanted to come back. We've got a little bit of signing news. Uh, these guys will not join until the off season, but I'd still wanted to show you. Uh, these are some guys that we signed. None of them are great shakes, uh, but we, uh, we signed a uh, 17 year old striker, Sam Stirrup. And he comes to us through the Liverpool system, uh, released player. He's not bad. He can play uh, five attacking and midfield positions. Uh, he's got average crossing, so he can play on that left wing. Uh, finishing is not great, so he would not be a striker. So I would say no go at the, at the number nine. But he does have some pace, acceleration, right-footed. So we could probably retrain him also as a right midfielder if we wanted to. I thought he had enough possibility that, you know, we could sign him on a cheap because he is free and maybe sell him on for a little bit of a profit. Uh, then we uh, signed Brendan Hassel, an 18-year-old striker. He's on a nice little contract, $101,000. And he comes to us through the Arsenal system as a released player. Uh, he has average finishing and crossing, so we could he could play the number nine. We could probably retrain him on the left side as an inverted style and probably even that right midfielder that we're currently using. Very pacey acceleration, a lot of upside. I think this these guys are probably going to be guys that we're just going to use to to feed the bank account. I have a feeling. We also signed Aaron Kamango, 18-year-old striker. 44000 a year. He comes to us from Liverpool as well as they are clearing out their youth system. Very similar to the first guy we looked at. Uh, he can play quite a few positions. Finishing's a little bit better, but it still needs to get much better before he could slot in at a number nine. Again, just more of some filler for our youth ranks. And taking a look here, speaking of our youth ranks, we had uh, two players that I've looked to sign, Lewis Irving and Bigger bigger Lunga, uh, or Alunga, but I, I looked at it as Bigger Lunga, and I said, that's a cool name. So I signed him just for his name. He's no great shakes, only two and a half star, but uh, yeah, he'll, he'll be short-lived, but I had to sign the name. Uh, Lewis Irving actually has some potential, but he's got a long way to go. Uh, we'll see if he develops into anything. Three and a half star. Again, our youth system really sucks. So that's why we go after uh, these released players. And uh, I need to figure out how to poach players. But anyway, uh, we will deal with that when we can. I will be back with uh, match action here momentarily. Don't think we have anything else pressing as far as signings. Well, this was some welcome news. We knew we were doing well financially this year, right? But uh, so the biggest loss was Chelsea at $44 million. The biggest profit was $176 million to Man United. And we're fourth in the Premier League at $86 million in profit. Got to be happy with that because that's really unusual. That is really unusual. How do you lose money in the Premier League? I just don't get that. Um, even bottom of the table, you're getting a million and a half a match, unless you're just totally blowing your, your wage bill. Uh, that's that's. But that means, what that means to me is I should be able to spend some money next season. That's what that means to me. <laughs> we'll see though alright still working up towards the, all the final games guys do you ever get so wrapped up in something that you lose track of what you're supposed to be doing yeah well you know we had the off season and youth signings and uh, you know trying to get to the end of the to the last episode and I played the Chelsea match and forgot that was supposed to be recorded so anyway Let's take a look at the results, and we'll only have one match today. Man United, 1-0 uh, defeat Marcus Rashford with a first-half goal in the 18th minute. 
played close. Uh, Arsenal, we they were number one. They were top of the league, and we beat them four to one. Aaron Collins with a brace, Ids with a goal, Gavin Hamilton off the bench, and he put one in. And then Brighton, we suffered a 2-2 draw, uh, Ids and Bellotti with goals, and we were up 2-1, and Malumbi got his second goal of the game in the 70th minute, and we pulled a point. Norwich, we beat 1-0, Gavin Hamilton with the start and the goal, and then Chelsea manhandled as Laturo Martinez with a first-half hat trick, including a stoppage time penalty to put us to the sword. So taking a look at the competition, we are currently eighth in the table. We are five behind Burnley, five in front of Aston Villa. So we have nothing to gain. What I am hopeful for is Tottenham has qualified for the Euro Cup too. But with their position, I believe they get automatic qualification to the Europa League. And that Europa Cup 2 may drop a notch to us, I'm hoping. So that's good that they were able to move up into Europa stage. So we may be in Europe next year. We'll find, I guess we'll find out after the game. But we can't fall behind Villa, so we beat them. And we can't catch Burnley. And Burnley can't catch Tottenham. So Tottenham is there. I don't think Tottenham can catch Man United. I don't think they can make up the goal differential. So it's going to come down. I don't. I'm, I'm assuming Tottenham will have the Europa League, and their qualification for Europa Cup will drop down to us. I hope. I hope that's how it goes. That would be so great to be in Europe in our final season here. Um, let's see. Take well. We'll take a look at stats and everything after the match. We are heavily favored. Everton got relegated. So we are going to go positive. That's risky. Marcos Rosario, he had just come back from injury, and then he got hurt again in training with an abdu with a uh, midsection strain. So that's uh, he's out. So we're going with uh, Wharton, Pavlovich, Bilotti, and Fosu Mensa on the back line. No mob in goal. Mitchell, Kenesevich, Downs, and Murphy in the mid. Uh, I'm going to go Collins. I'm going to give Collins the start along with Ids. And let's get to it. Murphy on the right side, lacking a little bit of fitness. I think Gerard, our keeper, is our reserve keeper, is out on uh, international duty for something. So really nothing to play for in this one. We can kind of open it up, but I am hopeful that uh, we will do some celebrating at the end of this match that we will be in in Europe by hook or by crook. Whatever happens, oh, man. Whatever happens, I mean, this has been a hell of a season. I mean, we were we were picked to be relegated. And let's ask for some creativity. Mitchell plays it back. All right, somebody do something. Take a shot. Find him. No, that's not good. Playing around with the ball too much there. Bilotti. Bilotti's got three years left on his deal. I don't like to give new contracts until they're in the final year or two years. Two years for like my star players, but going in like the beginning of the final year, I understand that's a risk. That's just the American in me. Uh, you know what we we're kind of used to doing in our sports. Oh, headers just off the mark, but um, he's got a ten. 0.75 million buyout, and I think I want to wrap that up, but I got the thing that said, despite the affordable release clause, nobody nobody seems to be uh, very interested, so I'm not going to give him a pay raise just because, right? 
Oh, Bosu Mensa. Oh, he just tried to dink it. He just tried to dink it. Hold on, I'm placing my, my dinner order with my wife. <laughs> All right, we have really been the leading side here. Let's take that off. And okay, let's push forward. We're controlling possession. There's a nice ball into Kenesevich. Downs. Downs reverses it back out to Wharton. There's the cross in, and Murphy just off the target. Push forward, and they're frustrated. Really? Really? Hmm. All right, Fosu Mensa deep into the box. Keeper makes the grab on that. All right, um, let's look at the sub list. Kenazevich is, so let's bring Bidstrup on. And you know what? I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring Kamara on for Ids. Nothing to gain or lose. Let's give the youngster a little more playing time. Oh, and something else I want to, oh, never mind, not yet. And I apologize, they're, they're all texting. Let me see if I can turn that off if possible. We'll see if that worked. Oh, there's, oh my God, it hit the woodwork. How did he miss that shot? That was definitely in. And Mitchell puts it out of play. Uh, get creative again. Let's drop it back to balanced. Set piece, and it's in. It's Bilotti. Bilotti's going to force me to give him that contract because I think somebody's going to go after him here in the offseason. That was a brilliant goal. Bilotti crashing the back post, heads it across the goal, back in front of the keeper for the netter. All right, let's um, let's slow the pace down. And let's go to cautious. Let's praise. Oh man, I couldn't tell if he if that was a clearance by us or a pass back by their guy. All right, he got a ping on the ball, but it goes high. Another highlight by them. Tell you what, let's go back to balanced because I'm not liking the fact that we're seeing so many highlights. Saved in the corner. Pavlovich, quit playing with the freaking ball. Because we're not, oh my God, all the way back to the keeper. That just makes your heart go up into your throat. All right, there's out to the wing, Mitchell, overlap, find him. Nope, he comes back around, makes the run to the touchline, and Kamara with the header hits the woodwork. Oh, man. All right, who do I want? You know, I don't think we've played Corbo. Although, I think I'm more inclined to bring McGinley on on that left side. Let's do that. Downs takes the corner. Oh, he drove it in. We got a rebound shot. Must have been an offsides there. Oh, that was unlucky. Edwards cuts it inside, shoots wide. 
Another highlight for them. Damn. Uh, that looked like a lunge. And that might be a red card. Straight red to Craig Mitchell. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Um, Kamara, we're going to leave you up top. Collins, we're going to drop you here. We're going to put you on support. We're going to put you on support. I'm going to drop you guys to fullback defend. And we're going to drop you back to defend as well. All right, and let's go into a defensive posture. Close it out. There we go. All right. No highlights. Sorry about that, but, you know, that is what it is. Liverpool jumps over Chelsea on the final day, and we end up in eighth position. Excellent efforts. So we'll take a look at the final standings here. All right, we ease past Leicester. Man City do the double. Uh, we're going to find him. We get $36.97 million and a top half finish. We pay out $675,000. Wow. I guess we'll have to pay out more than that because that seems a little light, but I think that was because we were not expecting. You know, if I was the owner of the team, I probably would pay an additional bonus. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Just think how much money that is in that guy's pocket, though. It does not look like we are going to Europe. Burnley is in. All right. If we look at the rules, sixth position gets Europa League group stage, and seventh gets Euro Cup 2 playoffs. Oh, wait, there's a little thing here. If no more than seven teams qualify, I don't know what that means. I I don't know. No idea. All right, well, let me, let's see, record high. Eighth position, a new record, duh. <laughs> so it's an all-time high finish. Uh, let's take a look at the squad. So we have uh, 40 appearances for Powell Idzikowski. Ids puts in 15 goals, which is tied for the league lead with Gavin Hamilton. And he did it in 22 starts, 8 reserve appearances. 14 goals for Aaron Collins, 20 starts, 10 reserve appearances. Couple of players, Craig Mitchell and Ignacio LaQuintana with 7 apiece. And Gabriel Bellotti with six goals from his center back position. Uh, so you can see the rest of the guys there. Uh, ten assists for La Quintana, nine for Craig Mitchell, nine for Ids. That's pretty good. I mean, that's what, 28 uh, assists out of uh, three attackers. I like that. That is great. Craig Mitchell's going to want a big pay raise next year. And uh, let's see, who else is going to really want something? Probably Marcos Rosario. Kinsevich goes back to his parent club. Wharton's probably going to want to raise. Murphy is probably going to ask for more money. Hamilton goes back to his parent club. But you can see down the list here, you know, who's that? Gerard. We, man, hopefully we, we can keep him low for a little while. Alex Lowry, I think I'm going to get rid of in the offseason. Uh, all right, so I am going to go ahead for a couple of days till we get to the end of the season stuff, so we'll be right back with awards and all that other good stuff. Well, it only took a day. All right, so best 11. So we had two players uh, picked to come in. David Vieira was the pick. And he moves into the starting lineup in our best 11. And Bellotti, uh goes on the bench. And he'll be, he'll be replacing McGinley or Rawson at some point. But Rawson had such a long run with us, right? 
So that's good. End of season awards. Gavin Hamilton was the player of the season. That's a little surprising. I thought it would be Ids. Collins is second. Ids third. La Quintana, the son, the goal of the season. We'll take a look at that. This came against Newcastle. So La Quintana picks it up just on our half of midfield, comes across the line, drives into the box, shoots from the edge of the box, beats the keeper to the back post. Nothing fancy, just solid, solid shooting. And uh, that was a 4-3 defeat for us. Uh, Powell Idzikowski was our signing of the season. I assumed he would be. $13 million from Bayern Munich. And Hamilton was young player of the season. Not too bad. Uh, we finish in eighth position, as we said. 97% capacity. 32 players used. My normal position, highest in the, in the entire league. Finished eighth. Lost in the fifth round of the FA Cup and the second round of the Carabao Cup. There's our squad dynamics. Very good and excellent. Team leaders are in place. Uh, let's see. We have not received our... I don't think we've received our budget for next year. I think that's where we were at. All right, let's check out vision and expectations. So in progress, the five-year plan in progress, minimum three-year contracts. I need to make sure I'm doing that. Um, that's That should be an easy one for first-team players. All right, for the end of next season, fight brave. So they only want us to avoid relegation again. Fight bra Well, fight bravely against it. They're going to finish our facilities. Two years. I have two years left on my deal. So there's really nothing. There's really nothing in there. I'm going to accept that. All right. Discuss plans. You know, we really got out over our skis this year, but let's go passionate. Wow. I mean, we just fit. Okay. I. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. I, I botched that up. All right, they're on break. Where are we going next year? Do I want to go to America or somewhere else? You know where I want to go? I want to go. If we went to America, I might be able to visit my parents. That's only four years away. It could really happen. Let's go to South Africa. It's a different place. Vitasevich Masterclass. Woo. And the goal of the season. So the goal of the season went to Giacomo Raspadori of Chelsea. La Quintana's goal was the runner-up. Van de Beek was third for Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, you know, because he brought it from his own, own, uh, own half. All right, let's see. We should get to the kit sales and everything else. Oh, here we go. Wow, well, that, that was kind of anticlimactic. So payroll jumps up from 41 to 55.99 and gives us a transfer budget of $60.84 So we will have some money to blow in the final season. Uh, unlike some other people, I do not do never-never stuff. Uh, I try not to do that, and I certainly don't do it in the last year, knowing that I'll never see that. Uh, so, you know, that gives us $61 million to play with and about $17 million in payroll to deal with. All right, the board. Oh, the board is, an, is going to do another upgrade to the training and youth facilities for about $8 million. And we move from Category 4 to Category 3 on the youth category. That should start seeing a few better players coming in, maybe some solid three-star potential and the occasional four-star instead of just one and two stars with the occasional three, three-and-a-half star. That's good. I would like to get that up higher, but I guess that has to be done automatically. We can't, I can't do anything about the category. That's just getting the improvements done. So let's take a look at the vision. 
And yes, so the youth and training were supposed to be done soon. Now we see they've backed off. So they're doing, they're finishing the one we're doing and then doing another one on top of it. From a finances standpoint, they have not taken out another loan. So that's good. And we're sitting on just short of 77 million in the bank. Keeping in mind, we were 32, I thought we were 43 million in the hole at the beginning of the season. So we've really righted the ship. We put them in a great spot. Uh, they are now considered a rich club. Finances are excellent. Value's gone up over $200 million. That guy got a bargain because he bought them for $100 million, which was only about 60% of the value, I think. And uh, they are on a national reputation. Taking a look at my profile, I am a three and a quarter stars uh, reputation. I know nothing about goalkeepers. Obviously, I'm not very fit. And I have adaptability. You know, I mean, eh. I mean, granted, I've only been with one club, but still, you know, uh, <laughs> that is what it is. All right. So, still looking for the kit sales and everything else. So, we'll come back and show you guys that. And then that'll end this episode, and then we'll jump next episode into the transfer window and have the transfer special. And we will then uh, move into our final season. Ooh, Ole Gunner has been fired by Man United. Where did they finish? Fifth? You know, I just, you're finishing fifth. So we're going to Europa League instead of champions league so we're gonna fire you yeah oh well all right so we got to here and i noticed uh something up here oh that's a scouting budget good all right commercial summary that's what we're looking for um matt ryan have i scouted him yet i have not he looks pretty good we'll scout him i could do that mitchell <laughs> Yeah, I don't get involved in the international stuff. I just say he's playing well. All right, so we get hit with a tax bill. Uh, let's see. We made a profit of $140 million, so we're good there. We we're going to have to pay $20.5 in taxes with taxable profits of $94 million. There's worse things in life, right? All right, we just signed a new five-year deal worth five and a quarter million dollars with a communication company. So a million a year. Five new deals totaling 2.9 million a year. So that's good. About 50,000 more in sponsorship. Uh, yeah, broadcast revenues uh, uh, plus $123 million. That's uh, okay. We have doubled our match day commercial sales and retail sales. Corporate and hospitality went up from 636,000 to over 2 million. And we went from 191,000 in competition prize money to 37 million. Top selling jerseys, La Quintana, our right winger, Ids, our striker, Mitchell, left midfield, left midfielder and Left wing back Collins, our veteran striker, and Downs, our new midfielder. 1.68 million in merchandise revenues, 168,000 in, in non domestic, so international sales, and 13,000 jerseys. So, not bad. New scouting budget, 927,000. So, that would be 309 there. Let's go ahead and go up to world. So yes, we will uh, we will up that to uh, the top packages. We will be worldwide scouting in our final year. 13 recommendations to view. I will dive into that. But we will end this episode here, guys. I guess we can take a quick look if you're interested. 
and we will put up expiring contracts three stars or better so we'll have ids up top mitchell and marcos rogerio on the left downs and fosu mensa in the mid la quintana on the right fosu mensa on the right back position Bilotti, pavlovich fosu mensa in the mid and nomov in goal nobody on the left side Fosu Mensa obviously playing a lot of roles there for us. So it might be beneficial to either find a, uh, another center mid or another right back, right? Let's turn off the U23. So if we go down to two stars, then we have uh, Ids, Collins, Kamara's in the mix. Odane Henry, Vitasevich, he's been getting some good praise on, uh, on, on the emails from his loan. And then Brendan Hassel uh, is 18 years old in the uh, U23s already. So he's got a lot of upside. Over on the left, it's Mitchell, Marcos Rosario, uh, Vitasevich, and Ids, Downs, Fosu, McGinnis, Lowry, Ids and Morgan Bidstrup. I think Bidstrup's going to be our guy there. I think that could be a guy that we play. He's right off the right off the pace here, two and a half to three star. Barry Coffey we signed. Did he join us already? No, he did not. When does he join us? So yeah, Barry Coffey's going to be in the mix uh, this coming season. Forgot about him. Forgot about him. And uh, Vieira is there as well, just 21. And then we have Murphy and McGinnis on the right side. Uh, Ayimbe, Ayimbe and Lacantana on the right. A lot of other guys falling in the mix here. Uh, McGinley and Fosu Mince on the left. Clark and Gerard in goal. I'm going to have to look at the goalkeeper situation. We'll see how the offseason goes, but... It might be worthwhile looking at moving Nomov on. We've got we've got a 20-year-old Welsh keeper in Clark, and we've got the 18-year-old Belgian. I don't think he's ready. I'd like to loan him out next year. Keep Clark in. We'll see. Um, we do have a lot of money to spend, so. You guys see the way that I usually sign players. They're guys that are found through my scouting for the most part. And so we'll see what the scouts come up with and what positions we can upgrade this year. I mean, we could really go after pretty much anything. I mean, you know, some of these guys have really good potential, but not the best current rating. Marcos Rosario started out here, although I like Mitchell better. I could probably use a left back to upgrade on Wharton. It might be beneficial to get a right back as well and then have Fosu Mensa come off the bench and be able to play, you know, five positions. <laughs> that would be that would be good. Uh Laquintana's fine here. Murphy. I'm not sure he's the best depth. I think. I think McGinnis has probably outlived his usefulness. I think we move him on. And I don't know. Is it time to move? I mean, I would say, is it time to move Collins on? Because he is maxed out. He's only two and a half star. But 12 goals in 17, he's certainly not the worst option off the bench. He's only 27. And he, yeah, there's no way in our last season I can get rid of him. There's just no way. I mean, if we had, you know, if we were doing just starting the save and or, you know, had months and months to go, I could see doing that. But mm, I'm interested in this guy. I'd like to see him get some run. And he will with, with the other guy out. In fact, he could be in line to start. But then I'd also like to maybe find... No, well, Powell's on the left side. So maybe put it, him on the left and, and put Kamara on the right. 
and let Collins come off the bench. Yeah, I think I think I'm done here too. I think we're gonna offer him out to clubs. What's his contract look like? 26. So he's got a year left. So I'm gonna offer him. All right, well, I'll do this all off camera, but that way it gives you guys a current look at the roster. And uh, you know, with all that money we have to splash around, we may uh we may take a one season pop at, at going for broke. We'll see. All right, guys, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the finish to our season. I think an eighth place finish here was stellar. Just stellar. And just for personal curiosity, so 35 points was enough to stay up. 40 is kind of your go-to number. I'm just trying to figure out how many points Leeds need this year to stay up. Of course, Bristol City, Everton, and Brighton get relegated. I would like to get team reports from these guys. They may have some guys that we can sign on the cheap with release clauses for relegation. So we'll be checking that out. All right, guys, we'll see you next episode for the transfer special. Take care. Bye.